David Spade and Chris Farley were two popular American comedians who became close friends when they starred together on Saturday Night Live in the early to mid-90s. Spade is an actor, comedian, and writer known for his sharp wit and sarcastic humor. He first gained fame as a cast member on SNL from 1990 to 96, where he developed a signature style of delivering cutting one-liners. He also appeared in numerous TV shows and films, including Just Shoot Me, The Emperor's New Groove, Eight Simple Rules, and Joe Dirt. Chris Farley was a larger-than-life comedian known for his physical comedy and boisterous personality. He also rose to prominence as a cast member on SNL, where he became known for his over-the-top characters and impressions. After leaving SNL, he went on to appear in several films, including Black Sheep, Tommy Boy, and Beverly Hills Ninja. Spade and Farley got to be very close during their time on the show and collaborated on Tommy Boy and Black Sheep. They had a unique on-screen chemistry that was built on their contrasting personalities, with Spade often playing the straight man to Farley's larger-than-life antics. The friendship off-screen was also well-known, and they were seen joking around and causing mischief together. Tragically, Farley passed away from a drug overdose in 1997 at age 33. While Spade and Farley had a great deal of respect for each other, they didn't always see eye to eye. Facts First presents David Spade confirms why he skipped Chris Farley's funeral. It's been a quarter century since Chris Farley died, but in 2014, his Tommy Boy and Black Sheep co-star David Spade revealed in a Reddit AMA session that he thinks of the physical comedy genius almost every day. During that session, he fielded numerous questions about his relationship with Farley. He also discussed his decision not to attend Farley's funeral. Spade acknowledged that he and Farley did have their squabbles, after all, they spent so much time together, and it was inevitable they'd eventually have disagreements. Even so, at the end of the day, they always made up and retained their friendship. Spade maintains his decision not to attend his old buddy's funeral had nothing to do with animosity or anything like that. Rather, he revealed that attending would have simply been too emotional for him. After all, they'd spent decades together as close friends. Spade went on to say he wouldn't have been capable of handling his emotions if he'd attended. The sting of losing his close friend was simply too great. They plan to make a third film together. In a profile run by Esquire in 2022, Spade revealed that Farley had expressed interest in reuniting with him on screen for a third film about two months before his passing. Towards the end of their time on SNL, the two comedians famously joined forces to headline the comedy Tommy Boy in 1995. While the film wasn't a box office success, grossing only $32 million worldwide, it ended up becoming a cult classic after receiving a home video release. Spade and Farley reunited a little over a year later in the film Black Sheep. Immediately following the release of Black Sheep, Spade and Farley talked about doing another comedy together, but Chris seemed to be more interested in doing more dramatic films. Not wanting to impose on his friend, Spade told Farley he should go ahead and pursue that, but just two months before he unexpectedly died, Farley hit Spade up and admitted that what he'd been working on as of late hadn't been very fun or fulfilling. Knowing that fans of Tommy Boy and Black Sheep were still holding out hope that the two comics would one day reunite for a third feature film, Farley suggested they should give it a try. Sadly, that dream never got a chance to be realized. Following their back-to-back -back films, Chris appeared in 1997's Beverly Hills Ninja. His final two films, Dirty Work and Almost Heroes, were posthumously released. Fat Guy in a Little Coat Looking back on their work together, both on SNL and their two big screen offerings, it's clear to see that Spade and Farley had a tremendous amount of on-screen chemistry. Discussing their comedic personas, Spade told Esquire that Farley always liked to play dumb while he would be the duo's brains. Farley and Spade were always goofing around on set. Chris wanted David to make fun of him as he thought it was hilarious. Throughout his career, Farley frequently leaned into this kind of self-deprecating humor and it seemed to work for him. Eventually, however, Farley grew tired of always being labeled the moron. Even while in the SNL offices, Farley used to like to bust out his classic fat guy in a little coat bit. Farley and Spade's desks were back to back, and whenever Chris would get bored, which apparently was frequently, he'd whip out that routine. At one point, Spade got so tired of the bit, he told Farley he wasn't going to turn around if he was doing the fat guy in a little coat thing again. 
Farley would then insist he had a whole new thing he wanted to show him. But lo and behold, each time he would be doing that same bit. Minor annoyances aside, Spade looks back on those times fondly. David and Chris's Tommy Boy Spat During the early and mid-90s, Spade and Farley were seeing a lot of each other. When Tommy Boy's filming began, the two were still working on SNL together. Mondays and Tuesdays, they'd be in Toronto working on the film. Then they'd fly to New York on Wednesday to do a read-through for the SNL script. After that, they'd hop on a flight back to Canada to shoot Thursday before once again taking a flight to the Big Apple to be there for Friday and Saturday for the show. After the credits rolled on SNL, they'd fly back to Toronto on a 1 a.m. flight to shoot Tommy Boy on Sunday before starting the cycle over again on Monday. By the time Tommy Boy's filming was ending, both stars were naturally feeling spread too thin. Spade says that at that point, they were fighting like an old married couple. One week after shooting SNL and flying back to Toronto, Farley asked Spade what time they were supposed to be on set the next morning. David replied by saying he didn't feel well and was going to call it a night. Although he planned on going to bed, Rob Lowe hit Spade up and invited him to have a drink with him at the bar. Lowe was also in Tommy Boy, and he and Spade were likewise fairly close. Though he initially planned on retiring for the evening, Spade took Lowe up on his offer, and they met up for a quick drink at the bar. The following day, Farley was livid that Spade and Lowe went out for drinks without him. The two proceeded to argue about it before ultimately the situation devolved into a full-on fistfight. After going their separate ways to go cool down, Spade went off to enjoy a tuna sandwich he'd packed for lunch while waiting for a scene to begin. He sat on the ground munching away on his sandwich when Farley walked over and stood over him imposingly while smoking a cigarette. At that point, Farley tried to start the fight about Lowe again, but Spade refused to get into it with him. Because of this, Farley stepped on Spade's hand, which was clutching his sandwich. Spade jolted up, at which point Farley pushed him down a flight of stairs. At the very moment Spade got up and dusted himself off, the director of the film called action. Fortunately, Spade and Farley didn't let that episode get in the way of their friendship. Even after that little spat, they continued to work together for several years. Although Spade later admitted Black Sheep probably shouldn't have been made. By that point in Farley's career, he was tired of being the butt of all the jokes and wanted to be seen as a more serious actor. Despite the circumstances, David Spade and Chris Farley shined on screen together, and it makes you wonder what a third film collaboration would have been like. Sadly, we'll never get to know because Farley's life was tragically cut short. Now it's time to hear from you. Which part of this story was most surprising to hear about? Let us know in the comments section below.